What is up guys, it's your boy Swordlam here, and back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Today we are once again talking about gold making in Season of Discovery, and we are not talking about gold farming today. We're going to be talking about gold making as a whole, and a couple of ways you can make some very easy gold without going out of your way to farm them. This is something that I really really enjoy doing myself, it's not something I talk about too much, because the more competition you have, the less gold you make. So here we go, I'm going to ruin someone's gold making methods today. Absolutely insane. I know it's kind of hard to take gold making advice from someone who only has 15 gold in his pocket. I only have 73 gold on this account as well, but I do have two accounts. I have one to manage my accounts or my auctions at the same time that I'm playing. So we do have more gold on a leftover account. Do not worry, as a real gold maker we do have two accounts to make some gold at the same time. But yes, we are crafting today with professions and there's a couple of tricks that I don't see enough people doing when it comes to how to mend my professions and it's just so very very simple when it comes to making gold and you can make some very easy profits without having to have almost any skill even while skilling your professions you can make so much gold while doing it as well it's not like you will make hundreds of gold but you'll make 50 silver profit here 50 there and keep doing this on a daily basis and you can fund yourself like five gold plus per day just by doing a couple of very easy crafts right so what i'm talking about here are supply crates so Supply crates are needed to get reputation with the Azeroth Commerce Authority. I think that's what they're called if I just go here. I'm on it right now, Azeroth Commerce Authority. So when you go to these guys, you can buy runes and patterns. And based on your class, many people get a very good rune from getting to honored with these guys, which means you really want to get to honored. You also have like plants right here, the mantle of the second war. If you have blacksmithing, you really want to have this mantle. You have the pattern for phoenix bindings and you have um, courier threads. You have a sturdy courier bag, a 12 slot bag that you can buy for one gold or two gold basically, and even a 10 slot bag as well. So having the rep gives you two free bags or three bags, and then you have the spell notes for everything or runes basically. So Rune of Single Minded Fury, Spell Note Arcane Surge, Serpent Spread, and you can see exactly here what your class gets for all of those runes. It's a reputation that most people do want to farm, and when they farm, you basically loot a supply crate out in the open world, and you can hand it in with or without filling it up. When you don't fill it up, you basically get baseline reputation, but when you do fill it up, you get way, way more. So when you're farming rep, you really want to fill them up, and they're filled up with materials from crafted professions usually, sometimes from gathering as well, but it's from different professions. So today we're taking a look at those supply crates, and I'm going to talk more about them. Now for this we are going to go over to Wowhead to their guide for the Azeroth um, Commerce Authority guide where they have listed all of the supply crates and I have been using this guide quite a bit recently just to like look over what I can craft. So look at the professions you have and then look at the crafts that are relevant to your profession. For example if you have mining you can see here even in tier 1 we're gonna go through tier 1 first you can make copper bars. If you only have mining, just make copper bars. If you have gathering, you can gather rough stone. So for example, mining, you sell rough stone. You make your ores into bars and sell those. And sell them in stacks of 20. People need 20 of them for this item or for their supplies. So stacks of 20. Rough stone, sell in stacks of 10, not 20. So a silver leaf as well, sell in stacks of 20. And then you have cooking, you can either make spiced wolf meat or herb baked eggs. And you can see exactly what you need for everything here. And this is for 100 slash 300 rep. So if you, fill it, if, you, if you deliver this one without handing in or without filling up, you get 100 reputation. But when you do fill it up, you get 300. So for people farming rep, they always want to fill those up every single time. And then you have the crafted ones, they give even more. 100 slash 100 and 450. In this case, I have tailoring. I can make brown linen pants and brown linen robes. And I've been making like dirty profit on both of these recently. And you need six of them, like six of the pants. And you need four of the robes to fill this one up. If you have blacksmithing, you can make the copper short sword. And if you have leatherworking, the embossed leather vests and the leather belts. I recently skilled up leatherworking on my hunter. And I'm making profit while skilling up a profession. I'm making good profits as well. It costs me basically nothing to craft. And you can sell them for quite a lot compared to like what the crafting costs are. And once again, because they require 5 
there's a hefty demand. It's not like you will sell one every single day. You will probably sell 10, 15, 20, 40, 50. So just make a whole bunch of them and put them on the auction house. Same thing for healing potions. If you have alchemy, you can make 10 of those and sell them for profits as well. And you can see all the items listed all the way down here. So use Wowhead's guide and this is only up until friendly and the real profit starts kicking in when you go to Honored. Go down here and you will have way more to craft once again. And this is where the real dirty profit comes, to, comes into play. Over here you have 200 baseline reputation. But you can get either 500, 650 or 800. Depending on which one you hand in. And not everyone knows how much rep you get from every, every single one. So now you know. You can get 800 rep from one waylaid supply. If you just fill it up. So if you want to make the most profit possible, make these for 800 rep. Elixir of Firepower, Heal the Man's Shoulder, this one is really really good. Poor Pearl Clasp Cloaks, I've been making really good profit on that one, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, silver Skeleton Keys, Rune Silver Rod and Ornus Spyglass. Now for 650 you have Dark Leather Cloak, Grave Wooden Shirt, Lesser Mana Potion, Minor Mana Oil, rough bronze boots and small bronze bombs. Now 500 rep you have a lot of gathering, so you have like bronze bars, bruise weed, medium leather, silver bars, it's basically gathering plus uh, first aid plus cooking, the professions that everyone can grab pretty much. So as you can see it follows a pattern where the kind of semi, se semi really, a mix of semi and somewhat, the somewhat difficult to craft items, they will give you way more rep and more profit as well at the same time. So Hilleman's Shoulders, Elixir of Firepower, and Pearl Clasp Cloaks. Like for me, those cloaks have been doing wonders when it comes to profits, and they need three of them for every single supply. And the key here is really to have way more than one profession. The more crafting professions you have, the more gold you will make, and the more profit you make as well. The whole thing about this video is highlighting how big the demand is, and how big it will be. Because once again, the Azeroth Commerce Authority is character specific, so you will need this on every single character that you want a rune on, which means there will always be a very heavy demand for everything here, both for crafting and gathering, which makes a pretty constant supply of gold and demand for gold as well, demand for certain materials, it's basically just creating an economy. It's really, really good for the economy having these supplies, and I really, really enjoy them. It makes crafting way more important than it has ever been, especially at such low levels. All of these materials and the crafted items are suddenly in way more demand than they ever have been, and I'm really enjoying it. Once again, the profit margins can be insane at times, and people just want to buy these items make their crates, hand them in, because the crates are kind of annoying to farm, so when they get a crate, they deliver the crate the next time they're in Stormwind or Orgrimmar, just because they want to deliver the crate, so whatever the price is, they will pay the price. Now that is kind of a long video, but I wanted to go really thorough into why the things here sell and why they will continue selling as well. Once again, the actual reputation here is a character specific, not account bound, which means that if you have any alt and you want to have the runes, then once again you have to farm one more time, in which case you want to fill up more shipments and it just creates a steady demand for all those materials and crafted items that are required for those supply boxes, which just makes gold making really really good. I will also say this video was uploaded as, as early access to anyone who has my gold guide so if you don't have that yet and you want to have early access to future videos then consider checking it out the link is down below you get 134 pages of gold making info all the way from phase one till phase four it was made from for classic era so you can use it for like this 50 different gold farms all the way from level 10 to level 60 and they still work now and we have a gold guide discord server where i reveal all of my best secrets to make gold as well and give you early access to videos like this one and we are currently working on investment videos as well which you will have early access to so if that sounds interesting please consider checking out the guide down below that's pretty much what i have for you today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below and subscribe for more season of discovery content thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you again very soon